welcome from a beautiful bird up in the tree here. <laughs> um, welcome to the beautiful Alcazar in Sevilla. Um, it's such a gorgeous morning and we're going to show you around. Um, I'm just going to say hi to everyone who's joining in for the live event. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We're going to be drawing some beautiful biomorphic patterns today and it's an absolute blessing and honor uh, to be here. Uh, I've been drawing these patterns for so many years. I've been drawing these patterns since I was about seven years old. So it's really, really special to be in this monument today. And obviously with everything that's going on in the world, um, another blessing is that this place is so quiet. Usually this place would be filled with thousands of people and it is so peaceful so there is a lot of people inside and we'll show you around later on and get a closer look at these patterns but this morning's just about uh, drawing some movements and we're just going to be using a pencil and paper no compass no ruler and we're just going to be sketching a beautiful biomorphic pattern so I'll talk more whilst I'm drawing but I just wanted to say hi we're going to do a little pan around the beautiful gardens here so you can have a little look whilst I get set up and yeah so if you are going to be joining in uh, drawing with me today we will we're, we're working with biomorphic patterns so we need soft pencils so I'm going to be working with A3 paper and just a couple of uh, different leads different graphites so I'll be working with a HB and also a 4B and it's just going to be a quick little sketch and yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so this is our beautiful trilogy, I call it a triple vine. This is what we'll be drawing today. So this is inspired by one of the patterns inside this beautiful palace. I have changed it up a little bit. So let's get straight into it. Luckily for me, I have this gorgeous natural light, which is an artist's dream. So the first thing I'm going to do is just draw, you can draw yours with a ruler. I literally just have a couple of pencils and a pad today. So I'm just going to freehand a vertical line right down the center of my page. And then I'm just going to find the center of my page as well. Just make a little mark. Yo. So what I'd like to explain is obviously we're working with a triple vine and you can quite predominantly see 
two, uh, three large circles running down this vertical line, and they're just three spirals. So before we move on into the small vines and the flowers, we want to get our foundation in first. Now, the way that I have drawn these vines is I've begun with three circles, which are going to draw in now. The one in the center is larger than the north and south. So I'm actually using a H pencil to draw in these circles. And it's just going to be touching the vertical line, not overlapping. And keep a rubber next to you as well. You might need to rub out a few things as you go. And the other one's not going to be touching. It's just going to be sitting a bit smaller underneath. So these are just our guides. And then the third one at north. So let's treat this as a little warm-up exercise. Watch my hand. The pencil is quite light, so we are focusing on movements today. So these three circles are going to create our main vine through the center. So I'm going to use a 6B and what I'd like you to do is follow the contours so you've got this beautiful wave This is just a warm-up exercise for now, and then we'll move on to a new page for our drawing. I just want to get you familiar with these beautiful curves. So that would be our main vine running down the center. And note that they're all spiraling inward. So this bottom one at south will have another circle, which will guide that vine inwards and I'm following this contour here so I'm actually even though I'm drawing here I'm looking here and this other one's going to come up from the bottom and around so use that vertical line as a guide And then at north, this one's going to come up and around. So the whole design is just one continuous spiral. Note that my hand hardly ever leaves the page.
so that's a nice little warm-up exercise for you. And when I'm analysing a pattern, I always do a couple of rough drafts before moving on to a final design because I really want to get familiar with my hand, my pencil, the pencil to paper, the movement of the spirals and just getting into that meditative flow. So that there is the basis, the base to my biomorphic pattern and then I'll start to feed off this main vine with my flowers and my little leaves. So now that I've had a little warm up, I'm going to move on. And draw the same thing, I'm just going to draw it a little smaller. So I'm going to get that vertical line in again. And then I'm just going to find my center. Now I want this design to fit nicely on my page, so I need to leave some space up north and south, and obviously on east and west as well. So I'm just going to put some markings in to guide where I want my design to stop, north and south. center circle in first my third at south I've got a little fly joining me. <laughs> and then another one at north. So this one's going to be around the same size as myself. Someone's not happy. <laughs> okay, so now let's draw in our vine. So I've moved on into my soft dark pencil now. I'm actually working with a 6B. got movements and noises of the Alcazar.
the serenity of a leaf blower. So I can even tell from my first warm-up drawing to now my second, my circles are, have much more flow. So that's my main vibe. And then I'm just gonna finish it off at the top. So that's just gonna come up a little bit. A lot of you are probably very familiar with these movements. What we're just repeating, I'm just gonna turn this over. So if you have spiral, I was to consider this my main stem, we'd always have just a little flick coming off to the other side. So right to left. Another simple way would be just one little curve and then just to the, to the left, to the right. <laughs> or in the horizontal. up to the opposite way but you always drag your pencil along that contour first before flicking off so nothing's nothing stands alone everything's feeding off the main stem so it's just two movements repeating constantly Same at the bottom. So let's focus on our centre circle. This is going to spiral inwards and up. And before I commit to this beautiful flower in the center, I'm just gonna draw a circle so I know that there's gonna be a flower sitting there. I always draw my flowers last. Because you might want to adjust where you want them to sit as well. going to come off to the right and into the center and what I'm going to do is follow this line that's already on my page and again there's going to be a small flower here so I'll roughly put that in and come back to that later Again, my flower is going to sit just there. And that one's actually going to join. So before I do that, I just draw a small circle and then I just follow that contour around.
So we have another part coming into the centre here. So those of you who took the Afghanistan series, we focused on the botte in part one. It's exactly what we're drawing. So that's the bottom of our botte. That's going to come in and towards the centre here. So notice I actually lift up, lifted my pencil up off the paper because I'm just figuring out where that's going to sit. It needs to be in harmony with this contour down here. It's going to sit in the centre there and have another flower here. flower as well coming down and that's also going to flick out so what I'm looking for is I want everything to sit in harmony with each other so that one's going to come out the edge on the left hand side And this one also has a flower sitting here. This leaf coming down and around. Now, this live class will be saved, so if I'm going a little bit too fast, you can always come back to it in your own time. about the overs and unders very very last work on my flower a little bit in the center here. So I always start with the curve, and curve in along the vertical line and then we're going to have a little botte flicking off to the left here. So one curve and another flicking off. We don't need to worry about the right hand side because we can trace some transfer and just mirror this design. So really simple, that's all we need. And we're gonna repeat at the top, just a little bit smaller. And then we're 
going to have a third. So what I'm starting to do now is outline my vine. So there's an over and an under here. I'm just going to sharpen my pencil because it will make my life a lot easier. Okay, let's start to bring this alive, alive. Oh, need to, I don't know what's happened to it. Yeah, I've told you my internet's down. I could hear my phone going off, as I was saying before. How do you want it to connect to mine? You have to leave. Do I have to leave it? Mm-hmm. Should I end the video? You can start it again. Yeah, start it again. End video.